Acts 13 verses 4 to 12 on Cyprus. The two of them sent on their way by the Holy Spirit one down and sailed from there to Cyprus. When they arrived at um, Slamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. John was with them as their helper. They traveled through the whole island, uh, island until they become, came to Paphos. There, they met a Jewish sorceress and false prophet named Bar Jesus, who was an attendant of the proconsul Sergius Paulus. The proconsul and the intelligent man sent for Barnabas and Saul because he wanted to hear the word of God. But Elimus and Sorceress, that is the what his name means, opposed them, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul from the faith. Then Saul, who has co also called Paul, Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Eliamus and said, You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of kind of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perver perverting the right ways of the Lord? Now the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to blind for a time, not even able to see the light of the sun. Immediately mist and darkness came over him, and he groped about seeking someone to lead him by the hand. When the proconsul saw what happened, he believed, for he was amazed at the teaching about the Lord. I read this one, and today what I really want to convey is that what I'm trying to read or when I'm trying to read the, my motivation behind the reading is so important I urge you or encourage you that to think about this question that when I'm reading this passage whether I'm trying to get a clever idea from this passage or finding to glorify Jesus or the glory of Jesus within the passage there we can identify that where we are led by spirit or not so I was in long time just like getting a clever idea and to present others to get appreciation on all those things to looking on that one but when I am reading the Bible and I find not the clever idea rather than to find Jesus glorify Jesus that will be the point we are looking forward here a small thoughts I want to share with you is that there is a, not only the the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of Jesus is not only belonging to the books in the olden days but it can be manifest emphasize right now through our life how I can manifest the Holy Spirit in my life is that to see change of my life even though a person is in a real deep pit of sin can be completely deliver and transform into a new person and start to cultivate <coughs> fruits of spirit in him then we can really see that the holy spirit not only works like a 2000 years before even it is working still now that how the people are changing they are building a moral value of bible they're completely transforming and they're just like going away from the bad habit and change that one and they get a peace in the family they're completely happy before it was like a hell or it was like a buried place the family become but now it's turn to the faith and strong in uh, happy and joy and everything that's one of the thing we can see that here the pole clearly identify the spirit of devil so if you can be fine the spirit of the devil there will be the success of a believer so can you identify okay you this person is dwell with the spirit of devil so cast out that one from midst of me <coughs> sorry that's the one of the <coughs> prayer we can have <coughs>